Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how to make Blender Gorilla Tag profile pictures with absolutely no cost. So let's hop right into the video. So obviously, the first thing you're going to want to do is have Blender installed. Blender will be the first link in the description and you can download it straight to your device. Once you've installed Blender, you should see a prompt like this. What you want to do on this page is go to open and you can see it, but open your Gorilla Tag player rig. Now that you're on here, you should see a page like this. For starters, I go to the render tab right here and change the rendering mode to cycles. Now I scroll down to color management and set look to very high contrast. Now I add a little bit of exposure, typically around 0.500. It's honestly different for every color code though, so just mess around with it and when you're ready, click this button at the top to see your result. Now for changing your color code, go to this texture button right here, click on the fur and then right here where it says primary color, go in here to HSV and select your color. For this tutorial, I'm gonna go with the blue. So now if we click the shading button, we should see something like this. Now that our gorilla looks like this, if we wanna change the name, simply select the name and go up to this area at the top and click edit mode. Now tap, and if your cursor turns into a typing icon, that's good. Simply delete the name and put whatever you want. Now go back into object mode, and as we can see, our name's ready. Now for posing. To pose, unfold this, unfold the rig, and select pose. Now go up to this area up here and select pose again. Now once we're in here, you should see a bunch of these. Just scroll down until you see hand controller L and R. These are our hands. And to get all the tools, you can just pop out this right here. And you should have all the tools like move, rotate, and scale. You won't really be using scale though. So now as we can see, we're moving our hands around. But we do have a problem. Both hands are moving. To solve this, just click this X up here and make sure it's gray. Now I can move both hands individually. Me personally, I'm going to go with like a wave. So yeah, just waving at the camera. And now if we want to move the head, just select the head and you can rotate it. So that looks pretty good. And you can also move the torso, but I wouldn't recommend that. If you want to move the entire rig, all you got to do is click on base and you can rotate the entire thing. All right. Now, once you're done with your pose and you're completely ready, go up here and just select object mode. Now I'm sure a bunch of you want to change the face. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Go into the shading tab and click on the gorilla rig. Now use the third link in the description to find the gorilla faces and download your favorites. Now open up your file explorer and just simply drag them into here. Now that it's dragged in, we should see something like this. Now to actually get the face, all we gotta do is select the color node and attach it to the face texture node. Now in this, select face texture change all the way up. And we have our cheerful face. If you see it's a little bit blurry, the only thing you need to do is click here on linear and select closest. And there you go. And if you want to change the texture of the gorilla, let's say lava, this is the place to do it. There's like dirt stones, lava, ice, you get the point. Now our second to last step is cosmetics. Use the very final link in the description to download all the hats. Once you've done that, make sure you extract the folder and then go to import FBX, find your cosmetics folder and select your cosmetics. For me, I'm just going to go with this superhero headband. Scale the cosmetic to your liking. Now you should see that your cosmetic is purple. It's totally fine. And I know I said the last link in the description, but I actually don't mean that. This is the final link in the description. Download the three images. And then once you've downloaded them, click the minus on this texture for the hat. Make sure in the materials folder, by the way. Now click new. Now click this yellow dot at base color, image texture, and then click open. Now that you've found it, and added it, it should look something like this. And instead of linear, make sure you do closest. By the way, if the texture is bugged out, you may have used the wrong image. So just test out all the images. Okay, now we're done with everything except for the final step. Click add, and then go down to camera and add in a camera. And click this little arrow that goes like right here, I think. And then this should pop out, select a view, and then camera to view. Now select this camera button and just use the camera until it's roughly around your rig. Scroll out and in to like go out and in. And then you just hold the scroller to like move around like this. Now, to get that actual square, we need to make sure we click on the camera right here in the files area. Go all the way to this tab right here and then the resolution thing. Change the top one to 180 like that, 1080. And now your camera looks like a square. So now once it looks like this, if you wanna change the FOV, just click this camera down here and change the focal length. The bigger the number, the more zoomed in it is. I think I'm gonna go with 77. Now once you're sure your image is all done, go up to render and render image. And you can't see it on my screen, but like a render page pops up. It may take a second for everything to load up, but once your image is done, 
go up to this thing it says image at the top i think and then you click on it and then go down to save as and then save the file as whatever you want but if the image isn't clearing up like it's really pixely all you got to do is go here and change cycles to ev and then just change the contrast a little bit to make it better and then just open up the render page again image save as and save it as how you like once we are done with that we're going to go to this website called photopea and once you're there click new project instagram and create now that we're on this page, click on file, open in place, and select your image. Now if your thing shows up as white, just click on the background thing right here and click backspace. Now it should disappear and your only layer should be your project. To remove the background, click on the magic wand right here, select your blender image layer, and select the area and click delete. It should ask you to rasterize the image, that's totally fine, just do what it says. Now just go around deleting in the entire background until it looks something like this. If it does cut off part of your ear i'm sorry i don't really know how to fix it besides going to this tab and then using polygonal lasso tool and going around the entire image and then copy and paste it once you've gone around the entire image then delete it and then delete the entire image and then you'll have like a better one but this is just way easier then when you're ready add in your background if your background goes above your other layer just drag the background below your blender rig and it should go behind it once you have your background in, you should be pretty much done. But if you want to use the background I'm using, just search up like green wavy background and drag and drop it in. Then go to image, hue and saturation, and adjust the hue to the color of your gorilla. You can also adjust the saturation. And there you go. That's your blender profile picture. When you're ready to save it, just go up to file, export as PNG, name it to whatever you like. And then just click save and you're all done. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way through. I really appreciate it a ton. And I would strongly encourage you to click that like and subscribe button. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.